What is up guys, AshBFC here, and welcome to Clock Tower, The First Fear, on the Super Nintendo. So, well, this is something a little bit different from me, because, well, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone, because this is a blind playthrough, which is something I don't ever do on my channel every other game, with the exception of one, being Hotline Miami 2, um... You know, they're all games that I, you know, I know quite well. Games I've beat multiple times or, you know, at least once. This, never. So, yeah, really stepping out of my comfort zone. Who knows how this is going to go? This could be a disaster. It could be fun. I don't know. We'll see. But it's just something a bit different. So, yeah. Now, uh, Clock Tower. This is a series that I've been aware of for a while. Um, just, you know, never got around to playing it. Uh, so this is the first one that was released on the Super Nintendo all the way back in 1995, uh, and it's a point-and-click um, survival horror game, which will make it one of the earlier um, survival horror games. I mean, this was before Resident Evil, which was my introduction to the awesome genre that is survival horror. Um, and I know there's a few other games in the series, uh, I'm not sure entirely, it's like four or five, I think, or something. I think there's a couple on PS1, uh, PlayStation 2. And there are some, uh, I think there's a couple of spiritual successes as well, and one of them is called a uh, Haunting Ground, I uh, I think. So, right, yeah. Well, <laughs> let's do it. This is only a really short game as well, I believe, which is what I'm sort of focusing on, just for a little while, short games, um, a couple of hours or something, I think. Um, now, yeah, there's multiple endings to this game, apparently. Um, I don't know what the requirements are to meet those, let me just focus on getting through it just towards, see what happens. Uh, well, I'll maybe look into that afterwards. So all I know about this game really is that um, you're in a mansion, you're being stalked by someone called Scissorman, who I think is actually a, a little boy, but he's called Scissorman. So, uh, well, let's not delay any longer. Let's do this. Clock Tower. Shit, I like that music. That's quite haunting. Oh. Right, and it appears we have started. So we're Jennifer, right? Uh, now, I did uh, look up uh, the controls just so I know what did what because I didn't want to be wasting time figuring out stuff because, you know. Uh, so I, one of them's a panic button, I think, to get Scissorman off you. Alright, so it's the shoulder buttons. We can go left and right. So yeah, we control the cursor right here. So let's see, if we can talk to some people. Yeah, point and click. These are also games I never really play as well. So I'm out of my comfort zone in that sense as well. What is it? Is something wrong? 
this house makes me uneasy. Yeah, I think I know where you're coming from there. It's got a creepy vibe. Also, the complete quietness freaks me out. Oh, I guess I've pressed it twice. Let's talk to this person here. Hey, Anne. You want to know what kind of guy Mr. Barrows is, right? Yeah. Oh, that's it. Well, thanks for nothing. Who's this down here? We've got ourselves a ginger. I doubt I'll ever get used to this place. Huh. Lots paranoid. Alright, well, uh, didn't really get much out of those people. How do I run? I know you can run. It's a very slow walking pace. Hmm. Don't like I can click on anything over here. Aha, we have a door. Let's see where this goes. Oh, it's locked. I'm going to assume I need a key. That would be my guess. This would be great if I knew how to run. I know you can definitely do it. <laughs> oh god, could she walk any slower? My god! This is going to be more than two hours if this is the pace we're going at. Jesus! Oh, this door's open. Let's head on through. If I can, do I have to click on the door? It is not letting me through. Have I missed something? Well, I've spoke to all these people, haven't I? Don't look like we can click on anything else. Why can't I go through the door? It is clearly open. Oh, what have I done? She's refusing to go anywhere else. I must have clicked on her back. So. Oh, hey, can you go find Miss Mary? Okay, so now is it going to let us through? I'm confused as to whether I clicked on her or has it automatically took me over there? Okay, it's not letting me through. You see, it's this sort of thing as to why I've always avoided blind playthroughs, because it just ends up being a lot of not knowing what the fuck you're doing and where you're going, and... I imagine that, you know... This is when I've watched people do blind playthroughs of, like, games I'm familiar with. It is, you can't help but get frustrated when they don't know what they're doing. So, for those of you who may have played this game before, you know, if you want to... You know, give me some hints, point me in the right direction. Uh, feel free. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need it. All right, she's told us to go find Miss Mary. She's asking what happened to Miss Mary. Who is Miss Mary? Oh, that's the woman that left, isn't it? All right, let's talk to the ginger again. Maybe it'll let us through. Mary. She's taking a long time. Should I go find Miss Mary? No. I'll go look for her. Oh, the music's back! It kind of reminds me a little bit of, um, in a slight way, the Halloween theme. Alright, so we got through the door, and now it's dark. Can I go through this open doorway? <laughs> Holy mother of shit! Oh god. 
Okay, now we're going. Here we go, it's all kicking off now. The lights are off. Girls? Come on, this isn't funny. Oh no. So now we're all alone. Can we, oh. Can we switch the light back on? Yes, we can. All right. We're making progress. Oh, I can run now. Maybe I just wasn't allowed to run before because... See if that door's open now, maybe. No. It's locked. It looks like I can go up the stairs. Do I have, um... Well, that, that's pause. Select does nothing. Uh... I was wondering if I have like a inventory screen or something like that. I'm just sort of thinking Resident Evil really, which I probably shouldn't do. We can come we can always come back to the stairs. Um right, it looks like we can click on the window right here. See I'm forgetting this is point and click, I need to keep making sure that I'm you know checking over everything. There is a courtyard outside. I'll be honest, this is more suited to, like, mouse. Um, it, it's not the easiest, you know, controlling the cursor with an analog stick. God, it must be even worse if you're actually playing on a Super Nintendo with a D-pad. Let's see what's in here. The lights are out. Where's the switch? That's where the switch is normally, our dear. Next to the door. There we go. Look at that freaky painting there. That's clearly skulls, dead people. Uh, we've got a TV there. Looks like it's broken. Yeah, the static's a very annoying noise. Can we switch it off? Yeah, okay. Uh, can we look, let's have a look at that, examine that painting right there. Nope. She's speechless. Uh, can we look in these cabinets? Is that a box on top there? Ah. Ooh, we've got it. Ah, there's a key in here. Pocketed. Pocket. Pocketed. Pocket. Why can't I say pocketed? Pocketed. Pocketed. Wow. Oh, the English language fails me once again. My God. I swear the older I get, the more retarded I get. Um. Well, we've got a key. I was thinking the door downstairs, that's the east, that's at the west. Do I not have a map? There's gotta be, give me a map. I need a map. This is survival horror. You've got to have a map! Maybe I can find one. Uh, so I click on this table here. Nope. It seems like there's no cancelling the action once you've clicked on something. What time is it now? I don't know. I assume there's probably a clock tower around here somewhere. What would be called clock tower? They weren't a clock tower. Um, right, let's go through this door. Alright, what have we got in here? We've got a couple of beds. Where are the pillows? That's the first thing that comes to mind. I've got a mirror there and something. So click on these. Oh, what is this thing? What is that? It's hard to make out. It's kind of. It looks like it's cracked, but it's clearly a picture. Is it like two little kids or something? I don't know. It's hard to make out. I guess it doesn't have any. You s oh my god, there's a- Ah! What the f- Dead end. 
Game over. Ah, oh, crap. So I guess you got to be careful what you click on. So what now? Do I have to start from the beginning? I'm going to continue. Ah, oh, awesome. So it starts me in the room I was in before I died. Okay. I don't know if that's... Hmm. Well, I'm playing on emulator, so I can use save states. But I'm assuming if, if I was to sort of reset, it, it would actually save. I guess, I'm, I'm going to assume you've you've meant to beat this in one sitting. That's my guess. I don't know. Right, let's not click on the mirror. It looks like the left bed isn't used. Right, it's the same one for both of them. Um, I see a bird cage. Is that a bird inside it? I'm assuming it's a bird cage. Oh yeah, a little parrot come flying out. What? What is it saying? I kill you? I kill you? Can I swap this thing down? It's really irritating. Ow! Ow! Okay, the, the picture there on the bottom left just changed colour, so is that my health? Am I being a viciously mauled by this... Oh my god, what are we doing here? What's happening? She's grabbed hold of the bedsheet. Oh! That's right, little shit. Now, I have no idea if I just triggered that, because I was sort of randomly clicking, or... If, um... It did that automatically. It definitely seems like she moved between the beds automatically. I don't think I set her to do that, so... I'm slightly confused. Alright, can we go through this door? No, that's the light switch. Okay, we turned off the lights. I guess I... No, don't look like I can go through this door. Okay. What happens if I click on that again? Okay. Maybe we should just get out of here. This, this, this room is bad news. I was attacked by a hand in the mirror. I was viciously assaulted by a parrot. We're not off to a good start, so I guess I've... ...lost some health. So I assume, going off the pitch there on the... Uh... Oh, hang on a minute. I don't think you click on doors to go through them. She goes through them automatically, if you keep moving towards them. So I probably could have got through that door if I carried on heading... Uh, oh, I've gone back to blue again. Okay. Maybe that's... Oh, boy. Here we go. What does that mean? What's that noise? Let's go through this door. I came out that door, didn't I, on the right? So let's go through this door. I really do like that speaking music. It's awesome. Oh. Okay. So that leads back out. It doesn't make any sense. This, this layout does not make any sense. How does that... Oh, I don't know. I can... It's that like, like a dripping noise. Let's go through this door. Ooh, why is the bathroom all misty? Can I switch the light on? Oh, it looks like the light's broke, it's flickering. The switch is broken. Reminds me, do you ever have, like, dreams where you can't switch lights on? I've had so many of those, like, it's dark and light switch, they don't work! They've never worked once in my dreams! Some sort of rules in your dreams that you can't have light. Let's just click on this thing. I'm guessing this is where the dripping's coming from. Oh, I look at the bathtub. Something's going to be behind that curtain. I'm calling it right now. The water's running. Okay. Uh, let's check out Bog. So what's going on? Why is this? I don't. Is this? Is this, is this steamy? Because the shower's running. Is this mist? I don't know. 
I don't have to go right now. So establish that she don't need a shit. Here we go. You know trouble's behind it. Oh my. Is it? Uh oh. Oh, oh god, here we go! It's Scissor Dude! Scissor Man! Oh my god, look at him! Creepy little shit! Those are a giant pair of scissors! I think we should um, get the hell out of here! Oh god, that, 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 it's changed to red. Is that like something to do with danger levels or something? Right, I have no idea how I'm meant to deal with this guy. Do we just run from him? Like safe if we just go to another room? Do we fight him? I don't know. Can we go through this door? We can. Where does it lead? It leads here. Let's try this door. So the door's stuck, not locked, so do I have to come through it on the other side? Oh my god, I just planted on the floor, that's a broken face! What the hell was that? It was actually kind of funny. Oh boy. I don't know if, if uh, Scissorman's still coming after me. I think I outran him. I think I'm safe. I have no idea where I am in this mansion right now. I don't know where I am, where I've been, or what's going on. Oh dear, this, um... Are those bloodstains on the wall? It doesn't seem I can switch the light on. Uh... Nope, does it look like there's anything I can do in here? Def I don't think I can click the light. Yeah, the, my cursor's definitely on the light there, and it's not giving me any some interaction with it, so... Well, I'll tell you what, I think I'll go ahead and end this one here, and then, um... I don't know. We'll, we'll explore some more of the mansion next time, so, uh... Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you then.